Hello, my lovely people. Look at that. I think his camera's a wee bit squinty. Hold on. Not ready. I know, it's been a long time. It's been nearly eight weeks, actually. I look a mess, but take me as I am. And that's tight like this. Right, this is my show notes. I really... It's been that long since I've recorded. I think I forgot what today. So anyway, everything's everywhere. I've just got to show you what I've done. I haven't got names or anything. If I can remember, I'll remember. Um, if no, blah, blah, blah. You know what my episodes are like anyway. But I'll eventually you get get the drawing for the the prize. The giveaway. It's still here. <laughs> I haven't sent it to anybody or give it away because I haven't done the drawing yet. And these are all in my crystal bowl again. Are you getting ready, Kate, to help me do the draw? And thank you, anybody that got in contact with me. There is a few people that got in contact with me, so thanks very much. Um, I'll give a special shout out to Janie Yarnyaker. It's her birthday today, so happy birthday from Scotland. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. So she's in Canada, and um, it's this is a, a birthday month and a half because it's my daughter's birthday on... Saturday, the 11th, I think Sunday the 12th, Saturday and our dad's birthday the same day when she just passed her te driving test, so she's all excited, um, so that's too much older than drive now, just my son <laughs> to go. Um, again, I have got no excuses, it just doing any laziness, watching podcasts, watching daily, knitting about here, knitting about there, crocheting about here, crocheting about there. I've been getting stuff, but I'm not going to go through it all because it's been eight weeks and I can't remember because once I get it, I'll put it away. But I've got some newer stuff, so um, try to think. Well, I'll show you what I did do and I'm never going to get it all in. Um, I'll show you my finished objects first, right? I did, I finished my log cabin and it's my housef. <laughs> Yay! I mean, it's just, oh, I still need to wash it, I'm, I'm fit to put it in the washing machine in case it grows. <laughs> but it's lovely, I love it. Vanish choice, nothing wrong with acrylic people, especially for blankets. And it's, it's, it's costly, you know, blanket, if you were to do it out of other things, it would cost you that damn fortune. So anyway, that's that. Oh, sorry for leaning. <laughs> Earthquake, did you get it, Sam? Earthquake! You don't have earthquakes here. Well, I think we do, but... And these are my basic socks. I don't know if I put them... They're in my book. I don't I think everything's in my book. Everything's in the book. Let me put the eyes on. That's that, that's that, that's that. Right, that's my basic socks. And I cast them on in the 5th of May and I cast them off on the 26th of May. And it's a basic soap patterned by Joanna Mars Marsan. And it's in the Aaron Carlos Starry Nights. So I finished them. Moravia colour with it. It's there. Woohoo! Isn't that clever? I need to keep that on for to see who the winner is. So, two of them. Beautiful. And I've only got two colourways of the Arm and Carlos colourway to get. So that's the oh, on the couch. Um, right, see before I go any further, I have to go to show you this. My mum knit this. My mum knits a lot of baby cardigans and she just loves knitting baby stuff. And I, I had to giggle when I saw this. It's so huge. Are you ready for the massiveness of this cardigan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. That's done in Peter Pan. And she's put pink and blue buttons on. She's some woman, so she is. She's a beautiful, beautiful knitter. Look at that stitch, stitch definition. 78. Go on yourself, Annie. But, uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. So, my auntie 
wants it for a wee baby, she knows it's only four pounds something. So I had to bring that in and show you it's just the sweetest wee cardigan. So I'm not going to throw that. I'll put you down there. I'll put you down the blanket there. Um, right, what's next? What's next? Oh, I meant to show you this two months ago. This is by Kim Kimberly Gintar and it's a careless. It's a careless. I'm trying to think now. <laughs> Did I write this one in? Oh dear. I think it is a careless. That's the way I go. That careless show by Kimberly Gintar and I finished that on the 5th of the 5th. But I never ever showed you it, and it's a uh, Mobius style, and it's just lovely, and it's done in Solstice Sharon. So that's it. I sent her mini skeins, and she sent me two. Well, she gifted me two patterns. This and uh, elf, shell, elf, shell, shell, elf. So that was that. So that's that one. In my Google Air book. Google. This has got to probably be a bit longer. Um, only things I'm working on. I'm showing you. Or what did work with. Now I think somebody asked me a question in the YouTubes and it was simple blessings. So sorry I never saw it to today. Um, I think it was the two-tone purple show you were asking me what it is. It's the Razzle by Ali Coffee and I have the pattern. I actually printed it. It's in black and white but that's it there and it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. But mine ended up huge because something about the pattern. So I ended up with Fiona, Solstice Yarn, and no Solstice Yarns, Solar Flare Fibres. That was this colour. And that was in the confetti, silver confetti cake or something. <laughs> Hold on, do I find my page? Aye. And the, this part of the blue here. This part, <laughs> it's huge. This part here, my mum's claimed it by the way. My mum wants it. So I'm glad I'm showing you because she'll be like, ah, thank goodness. Um, so this part here is the Night and Goddess Luxury sock. And then I ran out of yarn again because I'd already done stuff with that Night and Goddess sock. It wasn't a full skein, it was like a mini skein. So then I used a full, sure, did, did I run out? No, I used a full skein of the Cascade Heritage sock and man the dye peed out of this the water was purple but uh, it's lovely and my mum wants it so soft mm, and it's, it's, it's so, it smells so nice because I use Comfort Comfort or Lenore when I'm soaking them before I hang them out to dry and things so that's that one and I finished that on the 16th did I finish that in the 6th? <gasps> the 11th to the 6th. So then Annette, oh, what's this called? The Gratitude. I think you saw that but I don't know if you saw it all. So I'll just, this is mine. My daughter's away with the uh, testing that I did, sorry. I'll put photos of it in. I, I think I put them up on Instagram. This is a squish by Amanda Clark. My net long for the last two months and this is in my hand spun but I ran out I ran out because oh, people can't understand me so uh, more hand spun to there and then I ran out just look at the tail end but it's two patterns short so it should be bigger it's a wee bit itchy itchy but see when you beat your jammies on in the winter then we've got to feel like oh, oh. I don't know if it's because it's got alpaca and that in it but um, that's my hand spun. So that's lovely. What else have I finished? I've finished. I've not got the buttons on yet. I've got the buttons, I've got the buttons, just so you can see. So it's almost done, done, done. My daughter helped me pick these, but I think I'm going to go for the pink ones that were in the shop. I'm going to Paisley and Moira. They're wee glittery buttons, but there's a pinkish one and there's more pink in that. So. Now what's that called? I'll write that in. <laughs> Did I write that in my book? No, I need to put baby sweater. It's done in red heart. 
I got it to try it, it was all like a quid a ball or something. I mean, it wasn't even dear, and it was less than two balls to knit this. If I can remember, I will put it in under the podcast. Um, it's a wee baby sweater, it's free on Ravelry. And oh, it was so soft. My mum didn't like it, she thought it was quite hard, but see when it's knit up, it's gorgeous. But they'll only get that one colourway. Come on, Red Heart! Give us more colourways in this speckledy stuff. So that's in the Red Heart Baby. Colour 08526. Oh, better put my ticket back in my book. Um, that's my buttons. Right, I think that's everything I'm, uh, I've finished. Um, oh no, finished spinning. Where is it? I'm just, this is just off the wheel. Oh, there it's there. Nicole Mendez. That's what this one is. I don't know what I've done with the ticket. How cute is that? And I get just over 200 yards. Because I was trying to think, I thought, how am I going to measure that? And I, so I had to count it. And then I had to go find out how much per, per wrap. So for 60 wraps is 100 yards on a dash for Niddy Roddy. So this is the, the new one, and I'm going to get another b bump of this. That's the... Oh, just put it there. That's the Spin City. Spin City UK on Etsy and it's the Dolly mixture colourway. And I got 121 wines, so that's just approximately just 200 yards. So I thought, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a two ply, so it's no bad. I've not washed it yet, it's just, as I say, it's just off the wheel. So, and it's, it's no bad, but it'll probably plump up a wee bit when it's wet. So that, I'm quite happy with that. And I just need to put the cotton in to soak it. This has been soaked and bounced in. That's not bad. I think it's like a DK a light worsted. I'm not sure. I've not done wraps per inch, but I gained 200 yards for that. What more? Look, I'm going to check the time because I'm absolutely useless at this. <laughs> I think I've still got another 10. Then I'll stop it and start it again. Um, 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 um. Try to think. One minute on. Oh, that's my test nut. Can you see that? This is taking me longer than the first test nut I've done for Lisa, but it's beautiful. Um, and I changed my mind about the colours, so. Well, one of the colours. What else? What else? I'm knitting on. I'm knitting that. The bag. Oh, honestly, I think I've never done this before. This is a uh, see me for these. I need to stop it because I've got loads of stuff in the needles and I need to get the projects that have been lang languishing in the room. Um, so, this is called a new slant and it's by Whitnot, Whitnot, Nancy Whitman. I have already done one of her shawls and it was beautiful. So when I seen this in one of my groups that I'm in, I'm in the 28 row group. And um, of course, I, you know, I've, it's not like I've got nothing on the go. But I've seen it and I loved it and it's absolutely beautiful. And I put up pictures in the group of the, what I was going to use, but then I thought, no, I don't want it to be short. So I went out and bought this. Like I need to buy my own yarn, but I did for this pattern because <laughs> I think I've to do the same. And this is beautiful, this is like silk, and that's at Cascade Heritage. And it's a silk yarn, but it's got the silk content. And that is mango. It's is mango, but it's, to me it's orange. It's a beautiful orange, but it's called mango. And that's, that's this is the start, yeah. Um, It's done in Mad Tosh, but I've never done it in Mad Tosh because I don't have that kind of money to buy three skis in Tosh. Or four, whatever. So that's the pattern, and it's beautiful. It's in that along in Nancy's group. 
So I have started that and I'll show you the other colour. It's um, the Jubilee yarn I go. It's a grey sparkle and it's got sparkle in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkle. But it has got sparkle in it. So I thought they'll be, they'll be nice together. So. So that was for the, I think, can I get them for the Woolworth Warehouse? Aye. I got the yarn, this yarn, for the Warehouse. And that's on... Oh, I don't even know what size it is. I think it's on 3.75. 3.75 Addies. And it's in my bag by Erin, all in handmade, that she gifted me. Which brings me, I need to get something organised and send her something. Because she's such a lovely girl. So that was fair and it? it's beautiful. And it's got like it's just autumn into it. And it's obviously orange so it matches the project. So that's that one. Um what else am I working on? Oh, what this is in my bag. I <laughs> like my elephants. <laughs> and it's got polka dots obviously inside. And I couldn't resist it when I was on the real was it the real warehouse or was it Demores? But it's two. And I got this cotton and it was a bargain. It was a steel, it was like 13 quid for 10 balls. So I thought I was getting it myself a top, but I thought that is just baby blanket. Screaming baby blanket. No, I forgot to print the pattern out, but I have got it and it's a free pattern and it's by Hold on a minute. Mal 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 Larry, hold on a minute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, where's oh. mm, I don't I find the quicker that way. Do, 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 do. Cuddle me by N A A N E L Manel. And it's free. And do you know I don't, I don't even know what size of needles it is, I think it's fours. And I've got me stitch markers in just to hang me. Oh, and I put I added two extra patterns to it to make it just slightly, slightly bigger. So I'm just going to knit it till I've got the ten balls done. Because that's just I've just started on the second ball of cotton, so it's going to be quite big. Well, big enough for to cover a baby. You know when they fall asleep on the couch. And I love that colour. It's just buttery and Springing, oh, lovely, 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 and it's so soft. Right, a blanket for 13 quid, you're not going to go wrong with that. And every ball fits in my bag. That's the room to spare, look. <laughs> I can't even make a wee bag, well, I did kind of, but that's me. Right. I'm also working on... See the lily pond? The lolly pond, I just, I, I just wasn't, I, I just wasn't loving it. So I decided to, I'm on the cream. That's the thing about crochet, you can leave the wee doodly out. So that's now the lolly pond. So, and it's in my wonderful basket I got. Oh no, it's my wee doggy. Key ring. And I got that in pound stretchers for, was it four quid? Something like that. Four nine, four pound or four nine nine. It's cute, it's a button. I love baskets. So anyway, that, um, that's the colours. So it's now become, No, I think I've put this up on the project page. I'm not 100% sure, I'll need to sew so in some of the ends as well. Um, but it's, it's a free pattern on Ravelry anyway. I think it's something like Staggered Granny or something, I'm not sure. Um, hold on, see if I can find it. Because I'm such a doofus. But I thought if I don't podcast, I'm never going to do it. Yeah, really. Oh my god, my favourites. Okay, anyway. Never mind. If I, I remember, I'll put it down below. Down below! So that can go back to its me place in the corner. That's what I do. I've got that and I'm doing my mum's 
Lord Cabin. Started that as well. But you know me, I kind of do things by half. And do we drink, sorry. Diet Coke, I tried to give it up, I couldn't. <laughs> I love it too much. Right, okay. What will I do now? Oh, my bag. I'm also working on this, another... Do you like it? I gave my friend Nancy, Nancy Wallace was here. For Louisiana. She's in the group. And I made her, that's a smaller one. I made this one, this is my first box bag. And I wasn't like, it was like, it was a good, it's a good size. And there's always a mistake somewhere, and I just wasn't liking that. And uh, I thought, no, I'll keep that for myself. And Erin sent me some fabrics, and you'll see it in a minute, it's inside. But I like the construction of the box bag. The only thing is, because I don't have an overlocker, you know, a serger, I kind of get the nice neat inside, but hey ho, who's looking inside your bag? But it's got that lovely fabric, so thanks Erin, if you watch this. And this is Simplicity by Anakin Alice, which is the next two months knit along. And I'm no, if this knit along, if I'm only getting a couple of people, I'm going to stop doing the knit alongs because there's no point. Because um, last last month we had two people, but one person dropped off a ravel at the face of the earth. She deleted all her posts and I can't even remember her name, do you know, it's shocking. But anyway, so we've got one winner, so I'll show her in a minute. Which she's getting. Um, so, and this is done in Desert Beast, the Da Works. And I've not printed this simplicity shawl out, but it's it's a paid for pattern. And it's beautiful. And I thought that would just go lovely. And the reason I picked the simplicity, because, oh, she's got some lovely patterns, um, was because I've got that much on the needles. I just wanted something simple, but I'm waiting for my new needles to come before I go any further. I started out in straights. Because all my fours seem to be in projects at the moment. And uh, I decided I saw Ross Funko Boy. And it's a jazz cafe. It's colour block. So that's Desert Beast of Dye Work. And um, so Nancy's had to get the wee tab bit. I did put it on but it didn't catch right so it came off. So, But she loved her bag anyway. And I didn't put the handles either side. I just done it like that. Look at me. Same but different. So, if I ever make any more, they'll be exactly the same with the handle stuck in like that. Bum -bidi -bum. Hold on, I'm going to see this because it might be at the time. Remaining six minutes. Of that. 29, right. So that's us. Round two. You know, it was absolutely pain for the heavens this morning. And it was just ugh, horrible. And it's absolutely beautiful now. There's a big white fluffy cloud, the trees are blowing, blue sky. Scottish weather, you can't beat it, eh? So anyway, what else was I doing? Lumpty tum. Oh, I was going to show you this the last time. I've no, when, I'll need to get back to it. I've no put in for any postcard swaps this month. But um, I put this in the front of my postcard book. And um, I'm holding you tight, Nancy. You better send me one for Louisiana. <laughs> so anyway, she sent me this when she was in primary school. She went to Octor Arder. Is it? Is it Octor Arder? Oh, Arby House. In Arica. Sorry, Arica. And she sent me that. Oh, my wee sweetheart, my baby, who's only new, married, with two kittens, well, cats. No babies, cats. So anyway, she sent me that. So I glued it on. And it's just glued on that Pritt Stick stuff, but it's the cheaper version of Pritt Stick. So this is not a postcard. This was a, well, it is a postcard, but it was a card, and it's no real sheep. Look, at seals. Ooh, that are... Uh, it's one of the SECC things. I was waiting with Terry and she was, 
I was sure it was with Terry anyway. I was a couple of times, I was there myself and I was there with Louise, but I'm sure it was with Terry. And we picked up, the, we got these in a bag thing. I lost my bag, but I, I, kept, I got the card. But they look real. <laughs> Do you look really close? Shepherdess wear sheep. So this is what I, I, I've done. And Nancy did say, I should have wrote the names of the people at the side. Um, but I can always take it off if I'm desperate to see who sent me them again. So, Wood Island. Um, this lassie was everywhere, so she sent me three or four different ones. She was on a cruise. So she sent me one for Barcelona, then somebody went, was for New Jersey. And then I found this one that was another, a lassie sent me, I think it was for the New Jersey woman. But anyway, but that one I, I was chuttering away to myself because I used my name used to be Clark. So it's Clark Tower. That was my second married name, but I'm back to my maiden name. And that's around Northumberland. That's Pennsylvania. So anybody watching this uh, can PM me if you want my address to send me a postcard to put in my book. Um, Ohio. So I get everywhere. I get all around the world. And that's Greece. Epirus. Epirus in Greece. Maryland. Bum, 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 bum. Cadiz. Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Eastbourne. That looks nice. It's just in the road. Um, this is famous. People, people that don't know, beat your head is where people commit suicide. They go there and jump off. Don't know why. Well, I uh, do you know why? Because it's top. It's it's. Look at the height of the cloth. But it's renowned for suicide. Beat your head. This was uh, Kimberly, I put that there, see, Kimberly Salt Bunny, we done a mini scheme swap and she sent me that, so I thought that was lovely. Orange World, how appropriate for me. Everything in my life at the minute is coming out orange. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Connecticut, San Francisco, Coastal Devon, Burr Island, that was my pal Sally, I only spoke to her for ages. Missouri and Blackpool. That was my last two. So that's my postcard. So just a book at a pound land. You just glue the postcard in. But it's quite nice to like a wee flip page thing. So that's that. New pattern. I was out with my daughter on Saturday. We went to. I was going to ask to get some. Slim fast, see if I can boost my weight thing, but I don't know if it's working. I enjoy the shakes anyway, but so me and my daughter were we went past Renfrew and through and they've got a wee wool shop. So I got my mama pattern and I got her some a skein of yarn, a ball of yarn. Um, and this one I got for myself because I couldn't resist it, but it was cute, it's a button. And you can knit all with the, the wee cardigan, the wee jacket, the hat, and the wee blanket. I love the horse. <laughs> so and I got a ball of wool for the wee jacket or the wee cardigan. And I think it's in the same colour way actually. Does it tell you? I feel as if I'm covered in ooze. If you're spinning. Sometimes I tell you what the pattern in the front is. You. But anyway, so I got that. That was at two ninety nine and three pounds for the pattern. So six quid. Right, what else? Oh, I'm spinning the new what I'm spinning just now. I'm spinning this. This was my last for the Queen of Pearls. And when Nancy was here, I took her up to meet Zoe and the Queen of Pearls, and we had a wee. Spend my sock yarn is not here. I bought, I should have put that in, but I got an opal and um, I got another two of drops. 
two tennis, a ball, you know. So this is what I'm spinning and doing. This was Zoe's last club um, before she shot Fibre Forager. I've got the wee here. So she used to be Fibre Forager on Ravelry, but she's now Queen of Pearls. And that's a, a merino nylon in the colours Stratosphere. So I'm going to do a three ply and see how, bit, how much yardage I get. So I split it up already. So that's my spinning. More, oh, more yarn that I bought, bought from Derrimore's. Was I got Red Heart Detroit. It was quite a stocky wool. Um, Red Heart Bella. This is these are for baby cardigans. I'm waiting for one coming. It's taking its time. Um, Red Heart Lisa two, and I've got another kind of multicoloured schemes to come with my De Deborah Norville needles. And I need a skein of Deborah Norville now. That's your fault, Ross. Funko boy, I know he doesn't watch. Um, my, my socks are... I know they done nothing in my socks or anything like that. So, and then I... This is from... Fondant Fibre. And I just couldn't... I couldn't resist this colourway. It's called, it's a superwash merino nylon, it's 120 grams. So I'm going to try and do that as well, first to see if I get soaps. But anyway, this is called Swim with, Swims with Dolph, Swim with Dolphins. How beautiful is that? And it's see, on that fibre. That's just beautiful. Because I'm not the base spinner yet, I mean, I really am not. And, and, get, and, she, and get a wee sheepy stitch marker, I'm not on this. A wee free sample of angel cake and I, I, like, I love her Ollie and a wee message so thanks very much Debs from Front at Fondant Fibre because everybody raised me. I have got stuff before for, for Debs Fondant Fibre it was roll I'm still spinning them. Uh, I'm not the best spindle spinner I've got to sell them quite slow and it, I take my time. I love my wheel, I love my kiwi. So anyway, I'll be getting more fibre. I'm going to stop buying yarn because I've got enough. And I've got a new sweater's worth of, I go with it in sale. Um, a Cascade 220 Superwash and a, and a Spice Pumpkin colour. Uh, do you know what I mean? I just It's just nuts. So I'm going to start collecting my fibre because I've not got a great big fibre stash. Uh, I'm not doing two of the fleece. Um, I'm low. I don't, I'm, I'm in enough thing. rubbish. It's not that it's rubbish, sorry, you know what I mean. But anyway, right. I've answered the questions, showed you my stuff. My house is in an uproar. Um, I was painting, I need to get back to it, I was painting the bottom room, which is the room I'm moving into, for the back room. Um, so I need to get finish the next coat of paint and then get the wallpaper up. Um, Nancy wants to see it when I said I would take a photo of your Instagram, but I haven't done it yet, Nancy, so don't worry. Oh, did I tell you what day it was? It's, it's the 8th of July and it is 4.35 in the afternoon and it's absolutely beautiful out there. Nancy couldn't believe how bright it is at 9, night, 9 10 o'clock at night here. I'm moving to Louisiana where it's dark, apart from it's too hot. <laughs> so I've said happy birthday. Now Tracy is the winner of the Shutter Monkey, not long. Uh, Tracy2408, who is Tracy from Essex. So please PM me with your address. You will get something to go with and I hope you like it. Because I've, I've just got to get you a pattern, but you got a pattern last month. So I thought, no, she's joined the last two not long. She's doing this not along with me. Um, good for her. And so, I hope you like this. It, she piece. And look, you've you got the wee, 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 wee dog. And it's on both sides. So I, was, I must have done that really well. <laughs> there he is, there. And there he's there. You leave back to back. It's like a, wind, a, like a mirror image. It's, oh, it's a hair on it, sorry. Fibres. So it's just plain on the inside. Let's get my wee. My little logo, handmade by Orange Maid. 
and it's just a wee sock bag. I think this must be one of the smallest bags I've actually got around to making. It's still a bit taller than what an original sock bag is. So anyway, so Tracy, I hope you like it and there'll be something in it for you. It might be a ball of yarn, it might be a sweetie, it might be, don't know, there'll be a surprise in it. So you PM me if you like it, if not just ask me for a pattern. Okay? Well done Tracy. You see the other lassie just completely disappeared off the face of the earth. Right, well we get down to his brass tactics. Who's the winner of this beautiful bag? What am I doing? Like the Paisley bag? And it's got red thread. Most of my bags have got white thread. You know that I'm a bag maker or in, I mean, cause I, 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 I'm good enough for me, put it that way, and good enough for gay people because when you get it for nothing you don't care. <laughs> as long as it's soft decent. But anyway, it's not bad, you know what I mean. It's a nice bag. Just like boop. I mean, you could get a shawl in there. Cause, I mean, that's a, just that's one skein of yarn and it's... So. Who is the winner? Right, and they are all in there. I wrote post three because somebody deleted one. That lassie, who was ever she was, deleted one. And where did I say the name of this? Take me as I am. Um, I should write that down, shouldn't I? Because I'm just living that forgetful. That's heavy, that crystal ball, by the way. <laughs> Take me as. Right you. So this has been the best giveaway I've had. Oh, the, the lassie that won the ball winder got it. She PM'd me to say she got it. She was delighted. So I've done post 3 to 29. And there was two people on Ravelry. Eh, no, that was 29 up in Ravelry. And two people on YouTube. So I put the people on YouTube's name. And... Oh, creak, creak. My chair's creaking. And... Um, the rest of it's just by post. So, pick. Come on, come on. Pick and see which you. Right, we've got to Right. Winner is... Oh, lucky last person, post 29. There you go, who is post 29? Post 29 is Pat Mom. She's a guest in the group, but I said it doesn't have to be people that are members because it's people that watch the podcast. So, I might do another giveaway next month with the same bag so you could try for it again. You never know. No, I'm not, I'm not, well I might, I might be waiting to see for the next podcast because I haven't got a giveaway organised. But anyway, post 29, Pat Mom, you have, and well, most podcasters, I'm not going to contact you, you contact me. Um, if you don't contact me within two weeks, that's 14 days from today, which is, oh, I don't even bring my diary up, bring my diary up, bring my diary up, joke. Yeah. Where does the diary come under? Um, I don't know if I've got a diary on this damn thing. Oh, it's planner. <laughs> Two weeks from today is the 22nd, 22nd, I will redraw and put a quick, if I'm not, if I'm, I'm maybe podcast, I'm maybe giving an excuse to podcast in two weeks. Um, if you don't co con contact me within the next two weeks, I'm not giving you a month, I'm giving you two weeks. That's plenty of time because, I think that's plenty of time. Um, 
Put sweater in, pat mom, who are you where are you from, Pat? Or Pat Mom, where are you from? Oh she's from Italy. Lulu. Um so well done you. So as I say, you've got two weeks. And it's P-A-T-M-O-M -M, and she's Lulu from Italy. So you have got till the 22nd. Now this should probably go up tonight or tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow because it's blooming long. Um, and just so you know, but they're not all the same post, there's post 28. Post five, you know, so they are all different. But what I'll do is I'll keep them in the bowl. I'll keep post 29 open. I'll just write that down. And I'll keep them in the bowl for two weeks if I don't keep them. And I'll just redraw from the people in the bowl. How does that sound? How does that sound? Do you like that? Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Winner. Pat. Mom. Post. 29. That never happens, then you know, post, the first post and the last post very rarely won. So, that's that done. If I get anything else to say. Apart from Nancy was here, we had a great time up in Glasgow, we went for, she took me to lunch. And she decided to go home early, so she ended up sleeping on my couch, poor love. Um, I, I did offer her my bed, but she's like, no, I'll just sleep here. And she slept under my big blanket, so... But it was lovely to see her, and um, I really enjoyed her company. And I turned her to the Wallace Monument, because her name's Wallace. And she'd done a lot of family history checking and things like that, so it was absolutely fantastic. I loved every minute. Um, the only thing I've got to say I'm sad, I'm, I'm very sad about... I've been watching lately on the, the podcasts that Nitpicks Felici is back. So I was on the Nitpick website thinking, well, when I've got a wee bit of money, if they still got it all, they don't ship to the UK at all. Shocking. So disappointed. So Great British Arnold Sharon, she does um, Nitpicks in the UK. So I've asked her on Facebook if she's getting the Felicia in. If not, I'll just be crying. Because I love it. I've got the Jingle Bell colourway and I've got the green... Spring? Something spring. I've got the two... I've got another colourway. I've got three colourways. I'm not 100% sure, I'll need to check that. But, um, and I've got my one... <laughs> My one precious of the pain's cry. It's shocking that we can't get asked. The wool warehouse or was it love knitting? Give us more paintings, cry. Somebody said that they don't want it because it's cheap. I was like, go away, I want it. I like cheap sock yarn. I like cheap yarn. So anyway, I'm going to go because I think that's it. I don't think I want to bug you any longer. Bug you long enough. So I'm enjoying my spin, I'm enjoying my podcasts. Um, the ones that I do watch, I, I, I kind of cut quite a lot of them out because, I don't know, I was, I was getting kind of too much so I don't watch them all, um, I, I watch, to be honest I watch very few British podcasts so I can understand why people don't really watch mine, um, I love, I'm giving my shout out, I love Fibre Nymph. 90% nothing. Uh, Lisa, I love uh, Lisa's craft work. I love the Knit One Heart 2. I love Sheila and Wendy. I watch The Knit Girls. I watch Stocking It Zombies. I watch In a Snit. I watch Dramatic Knits. I love Stephen Cali. And I've still got a Brady Has Fiber to spin up. <laughs> It's like the precious, it's the like goldness of gradient. Oh, uh, new day. <laughs> um, and I'm still knitting with a skinny nice yarn, um, but it's a shipping. I watched Tammy, the proverbial knitter, who was my very second podcast ever. And I'm very 
sad or we try to get a wee dog we a wee doggy heaven and that was sad because I love Jed's hedgehog so that was sad um, I seen a photograph of this the zombies um, Daryl and Nitz and Vicky see, see I can't name them all I've got to be honest I can't name them all because I, I do watch quite a few still um, but not as many as I used to but uh, and Zena Zena I think she's about the only British one that I do watch I enjoy Zena um, but then I'm not beginning to the going to shows and things like that oh meant to tell you Tegsy Terry Tinsel um, or Tegsy um, I'm not sure which one he is. I think it's Terry Tinsel on Instagram and Teg Z on Ravelry. But anyway, um, he wanted to go to Stalking at Zombies and he, oh, and Itter's Life, that's another one I watched because her stuff's beautiful as well and I totally agree with you, Terry. Um, she, he was wanting to go to Stalking at Zombies at Apocalypse. Of course I do as well, but I don't have a passport so I can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, I was telling Nancy that it's like a hundred odd pound to get a passport, I'm poor. I'm a pauper. So anyhow, um, so he was saying he wanted to go, but he's got other things he needs to do. So he decided to be a big boy and say, well, there's always next year or the year after, because I think the, the, the like SSK. I'd love to go with that because it's in Nashville. <laughs> Super summer knit together. Ah, stalking at zombies and the apocalypse. <laughs> I can understand why Fiona was a wee bit upset that she couldn't go, but your health got to come first, Fiona. Um, I don't. These people have never watched this, so I don't know why I'm saying. But anyhow, I went to Sally. Tally with the chickens. Did you like the stroller, Sally? <laughs> Chicken stroller. It was on Facebook. People, you'll have a laugh. But anyway, so he was decided that he was going to be a big boy and no go. Um, because he had other things that he needed to do with his money. Because it's a lot of money to fly to America and stay in a hotel and obviously buy yarn. Well, I've got a room I need to get a carpet for and I need to decorate. I've still got the wallpaper for the other three walls. I've got the wallpaper for the, the, the main wall. Um, I need a new fridge. I think my fridge is on its last legs. Um, so there is other things I really, really need to do. Um, so I'm not going to Yarndale. But then Yarndale's not going anywhere, it's always next year, because a friend invited me to Belfast for the 12th and she's like, oh no gosh, you're on just your, your bed and breakfast, blah blah blah, and I was like, I can't, eh? it's just, I'd love to go to Belfast for the 12th, that's just, that's the orange in me. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying that to upset anybody, um, because I've got nothing against anybody in the religion, I, I, I'm, I'm proud to be Protestant, proud to be orange, and um, I don't, want to shove it in anybody's face but this time of year just I get so excited it's brilliant and I was away at the big walk in Irvine I never went to the one in Glasgow because I was in agony still with my legs <laughs> and I walked that long and I'd done 35,000 steps two weeks ago a week ago Saturday the 27th oh anyway it's a beautiful day but anyway so um This time of year I just get I think I get dead sentimental because my granny and everything. But um love it, love it, love it. So I'm not going to Yarn Deal. I never went to Rule Fest. Um I will probably I'll try, I will try and save some pennies to go to the Glasgow School of Yarn. because uh, I never went for the last couple of years. Um I think that's me. So until next time people, and thank you for watching, thank you for staying with me. I've got 277 subscribers on YouTube and thank you very much people, these are lovely. Kendra, you're crazy too. <laughs> I love 8-bits. <laughs> Bye!